everyone welcome to my vegetarian kitchen sharing with you all an incredibly tasty recipe that will soon become your family favorite spicy luscious and tangy this Punjabi curry pakora is the ultimate comfort food this dish will not only tantalize your taste buds but will also satisfy your soul it's easy to prepare and delightfully indulgent so let's get started In a bowl, take some sour curd and whisk it together until smooth. The exact measurements are listed in the description box below. Now add in gram flour or basin to the whisk curd and stir and mix everything again making sure that there are no lumps at all. We're now going to add in some salt to taste. some turmeric powder and mix well to combine. Next, pour some room temperature water to the curd and stir continuously until everything is mixed well. Stir well to make sure that the mixture is smooth without any lumps. If there are lumps, then break them with a wide whisk or spatula or using your fingers. Set the curd slurry aside for 30 minutes. Let's start the process of making the curry. Pour oil in a large karhai. Make sure that you're using a heavy bottom pot or karhai that is large enough to hold the curry as we don't want any spills in the process. Once the oil heats, add in cumin seeds, a little bit of hing, some mustard seeds, fenugreek seeds, and a few dried red chilies. In goes some minced garlic and ginger juliennes. We're going to saute everything for about a minute or two until the ginger and garlic are cooked. Fry on low flame so that the spices do not get burnt. Add in a handful of curry leaves and saute for another minute. Now carefully pour the prepared curd slurry to the karhai and stir very well. We're gonna increase the flame to medium and bring the curry to a boil. Keep on stirring often so that the bottom does not get browned. Time taken to cook the curry here is about 15 minutes. After the curry has come to a boil, Lower the heat and simmer for another 6 to 7 minutes while the curry thickens. If you feel that the curry has become too thick, you may add some hot water to the curry. Our curry looks cooked. At this time, I'm going to go ahead and add in the spinach and onion pakoras. I'll be posting the recipe link to my crispy spinach and onion pakoras in the description box below. Sprinkle some crushed kasuri methi on top along with some fresh coriander leaves. Mix everything well and let the pakoras be soaked in it for about 7 to 8 minutes and the curry will be ready to serve. Now I love serving curry with a tempering of ghee and red chilies on top to maximize the deliciousness of this recipe. Sprinkle some more coriander leaves on top and serve it alongside some rice, roti or paratha, along with a crunchy salad. You must give this recipe a try. Eat well, live well and follow for more. Happy cooking and thank you for watching.